What's the one thing that connects all good putters together? This simple piece of information, which I'll share with you in today's video, is going to transform the way you think about putting. And once you've heard it, you won't believe you hadn't thought about doing it before. But if your putting is a little bit up and down and you struggle with consistency, the likelihood is you're not doing this one thing. Today I'm going to share with you three drills and include the information that connects all great putters together. And once you hear it, you won't believe you weren't doing it before. But it's something so simple, every single one of you can put this into play and see an immediate impact on your putting performance. So the T-Rex drill is a great way for you to build a repeatable putting setup and a position from which you can build a more consistent and reliable stroke. Really quite a simple concept. I'll show you how it works now. So we're going to stand up and set up to the ball in your normal fashion to begin with. And then I'm going to ask you to stand upright and hold the putter out in front of you. Now there's a couple of checkpoints here that we need to be aware of. We're going to try and get the putter parallel to the ground and we're going to try and get our arms, our arms, our forearms level with each other so we're not sort of twisted open or closed with our shoulders. We're going to try and be nice and square, hold the putter out in front of us with the shaft of the putter parallel to the ground. And then the T-Rex part of this drill is that the T-Rex has tiny little arms, right? It's a huge dinosaur, tiny little arms. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to pull your arms in. You're going to flex your elbows until you can feel your elbows against your rib cage. And you're going to have a little bit of pressure there between the upper arm and the torso. Now we've got this putter parallel to the ground. We've got our forearms as an extension of, of the shaft, if you like, or a shaft as an extension of the forearm, if you prefer. And the butt end of this putter is pointing somewhere around my belly button. That's our start point for this drill. If we've got our arms and body organized in this way, we're in a great place now to just start to bend forward from our torso and our pelvis until the putter reaches the ground. And as I do that, I'm going to maintain the same feel of these short T-Rex arms, which is going to build in a number of good pieces for a solid putting setup. Things that this encourages are to get your eyes and head more over the ball. You don't need your eyes perfectly over the ball to be a good putter, but it certainly helps to get your head and your eyes organized so they're more face down. This drill helps you to do that. I see too many people trying to set up for putter standing too upright. So bend forwards, keeping the arms flexed. Other things that this builds in is a more consistent distance from the ball. You may find the first couple of times you try this that you have to shuffle in or shuffle away from the ball just to find that distance that you should be because it's quite possible you've spent too long standing too far away from the ball or too close to it. So this is helping us build in good upper body position, good flex of the spine, getting over the ball and building in, as I say, that consistent distance from the ball. And with the T-Rex arms, the short feeling in the arms, it creates a couple of really useful things. First of all, the forearms and the shaft being on more of a similar plane can be desirable. Again, by no means is it a necessity to be a good putter, but you do see it demonstrated by a number of good players. And as you shorten the arms and the elbows, it encourages the wrists to go into an uncocked position. This is known as ulna deviation, where the wrists are feeling, I would, I would describe it as the wrist joint feeling quite high or elevated. And that can be very beneficial for putting. I've done previous videos discussing how the wrists work using the hack motion wrist sensors. So I'll link that one in the description. But suffice to say, starting with this T-Rex condition with a upright back, the arms in against my side, the shaft and my forearms parallel to the ground, and then bending forwards, I'm going to find the ground, make a small adjustment to get my distance from the ball exactly how I want it. But as I say, this is a great foundation from which to build a more consistent, repeatable putting stroke. So now we've got a more stable setup position and a more consistent setup position. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we have a base from which to build our stroke, a solid foundation of the legs and the pelvis. This next drill is going to be an extension of T-Rex. You can do these together and I'm going to place an alignment stick through my belt loops. And the reason for this is I want to be able to notice and show you if you're making any excessive and unwanted movement with your lower body. Good putters have very stable 
legs, knees, pelvis. The lower body stays pretty fixed and doesn't move around too much. In poor putters, I'd see a lot of movement of the pelvis, some sway, some twist, the knees start to flex. So the great thing about this exercise is you can practice without a ball to start with if you want, but you can practice your stroke with the goal being moving the upper body, the torso, the shoulders, the arms, without this stick moving. So if you watch me demonstrate, you shouldn't really see any movement to the stick at all. So you can practice this at home with or without a ball. In front of a mirror is also a good way to do it. Although you should still see, if you're using an alignment stick, this is long enough to be very much in my peripheral vision so I can see if it's moving around too much. But we can combine the T-Rex setup, which is getting us the right distance from the ball, building in the right sort of pelvic bend and the arm position that I want. And I can hit putts from here, really trying to keep this stick as still as possible. Hit a really nice putt there, it didn't quite go in, but the stroke felt extremely solid. Keeping that lower body static and stable will allow you to be able to build something with the upper body that's more repeatable and consistent. So now we know how to find a more repeatable start point. We've got the T-Rex drill. We've got a more stable base from which to swing from. What can we be doing in our stroke that all good putters do? And that's quite a sweeping statement. I think putting is one of the areas of the game where you could certainly argue there's many, many different successful putting styles. Different grips, different putters, different distances from the ball, different tempos, different rhythms. I mean, you name it, most of it's been done. But there's one thing that glues together all good putters, and I'm about to share that with you. But I see poor putters unable to do this very simple thing. And what is it? It's quite simply the ability to hold the finish of the stroke. Once you've hit the ball, can you keep the putter in a stable, solid position? Can you keep your body in a stable position without moving? Or are you someone who twists and turns and lifts their head up? Someone who takes one hand off the putter, tries to twist the putter head to almost guide the ball towards its target. I see that mistake every single day on the golf course when I'm playing with students and higher handicapped golfers. So standing to the ball, we know how to do our T-Rex, arms in nice and close, bend forward, okay. Now I'm in position, my pelvis feels very stable, I'm going to keep this stick very static and I'm going to putt this ball, I'm going to hold my finish. And the trick here, once you've learned to do this, is you just learn to rotate your head to look at the ball and follow the travel of the ball. Okay, there's no need to start coming up out of your posture and twisting around. You can only imagine how much of a negative impact that's having on your ability to control the putter face and to control the distance you hit the ball. Once you start to understand that all good putters hold their finish, they do it for a reason, they do it for better face control, the stability and repeatability of the face. They do it for better distance control. Understanding how far back and through this putter moves can help them to become better at judging the speed. And overall it gives much greater feedback. So I really encourage you to try this exercise on the short putts, especially to start with the, the three, four foot putts that you have that often get away from you and start to increase your score. If you can learn to develop good setup, a stable base, and a strong, repeatable finish position in your putting stroke, you're gonna hold so many more of those short putts, you see your scores will start to come down immediately. So some practical putting advice there that you can put into play immediately and see immediate benefits from. All three of those exercises, the T-Rex drill to develop a more consistent posture and setup in putting, the stick drill to try and minimize the lower body and stabilize the lower body and finally the hold your finish drill which while you're watching golf this weekend you're now going to notice this where maybe you never saw it before now that you know good putters hold their finish you're not going to be able to not see it and if you can do that it's going to benefit your putting performance greatly guys if you enjoyed today's video please hit the like button the putting videos typically are not so popular but 
I feel they have real value to them. And so if you think this putting video was useful, hit the like button, helps the video to be seen by more people. And if you enjoy the putting videos and you want to watch more, I have an entire playlist on putting instruction that I have in the back catalogue. I will link that in the description below. But if you want the next putting video to go and work on, well, this one right here might just be the most important putting video you ever watch.